Good morning, y'all, and welcome to day 52 of 100 Days to Life Changing Confidence. This morning's scriptures will be in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 14, and Matthew chapter 16, verses 1 through 4. So if y'all are ready, let's get started. And the word says, everything has its own time, and there is a specific time for every activity under the sun. I mean, under heaven, excuse me. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pull out what is planted. A time to kill, a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build up. A time to cry, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, a time to dance. A time to scatter stones, a time to hug, and a time to stop hugging. A time to start looking, and a time to stop looking. A time to keep, and a time to throw away. A time to keep Quiet, a time to speak out, a time to love, a time to hate, a time to war, a time for war, and a time for peace. What do working people gain from their hard labor? I have seen mortals weighed down with a burden that God has placed on them. It is beautiful how God has done everything at the right time. He has put a sense of eternity in people's minds, yet mortals still can't grasp what God is doing from beginning to the end from the beginning to the end of time. I realize there is nothing better for them to do than to be cheerful and enjoy what good is in what is good in their lives. It is a gift from God to be able to eat and drink and experience the good that comes from every kind of hard work. I realize that what God does will last forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing can be taken away from it. God does this so that his people will fear him. Wow. Um, that verse is actually very fitting, considering that, if y'all know me, in personal life and on Instagram, y'all know that I just graduated from Financial Peace University last night. Um, thank you to everyone for... The heartfelt congratulations. It was definitely an eye-opening experience. And one that I will definitely take to heart as I continue the long path to adulthood. Um, but... Also, I have not heard or read that verse out loud in a very long time. It's very meaningful. So, that's that's a bit of a God wink for me this morning. Um, let's continue. Our last verse for the morning will come to us from Matthew chapter 16. Verses 1 through 4. The Pharisees and the Sadducees came to test Jesus. So they asked him to show them a miraculous sign from heaven. He responded to them, In the evening you will say that the weather is fine because the sky is red. And in the morning you will say, that there will be a storm today. 
because the sky is red and overcast. You can forecast the weather by judging the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. Evil and unfaithful people look for a miraculous sign, but the only sign they will be given is that of Jonah. He left them standing there and went away. As non-believers, people in general will constantly look for signs and wonders from outside uh, particular places. Whether that be from nature or otherwise. I will admit I have fallen short and pray to those types of things as well. But in my renewed Christian faith, I have now realized that the only thing I am to look toward is my faith in Jesus and my only um, directional guide is God himself and the Bible. Um, um, so really, when you think about it, the only thing you need to look for as far as signs and more signs and miracles if you will is look for the small things that Jesus provides you with they don't always have to be big giant things if you had to take a hot shower this morning that was a miracle if you woke up this morning that was a miracle those are both signs from God be thankful. That is all. Let's discuss today's scripture notes. Number one, there, there, there will always be a harvest season. Be prepared. That means the seeds that you have planted might sometimes take years before they come into fruition. But the point is to plant seeds everywhere so that you can see God work in your life, even in the little things. Number two, signs and blessings are all around us. Take the time to look and be grateful. Matthew 16, 4. Um, in this um, amazing season that I have just entered and also finished at the same time, I, for one, cannot wait to see the blessings that God has prepared for me in the near and distant future. Um, so if y'all need me, I will be blasting my Christian playlist today. Um, and just being in a constant state of thankfulness and all of that. Um, I hope you'll have an amazing day today and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody.